Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> Good guy. You ready to work? <laughs> Good guy. Okay. <laughs> no. Eddie, you got to wait your turn. Cheryl, you got to wait your turn. Come on, Eddie. Let's go to work. Come on. Come on, Sip. Come on, Sip. Hi, Melissa. Hi. You just want to wait over there for one sec. I'll put Sayip up on his seat, and then we can get to work, okay? Okay. Good girl. Come on up, Sayip. Sayip, seat. Good boy. Okay, Melissa, first little behavior that we're just going to work him through is just to limber him up and get him ready to work. And just as if before you go jogging, you stretch your muscles, etc. cetera, we're just going to have him do a quick little jump. Sayip, let's go. Come on. Up. Oh, good boy. Wow, that was great. Yeah, he's a good one, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Good boy. What I'm giving him right now, you may notice, are these little pieces of beef. And that tells him that he, he did good. Good boy. Good boy. I'm just going to jump him back now and just uh, we'll find a little bit of uh, loosening up, and then we'll get going with the actual uh, working, okay? Okay. Come here, Sayip. Come on. Sayip, come on. That's my guy. Good boy. Ready and ho oh, up. Good boy. How did you teach him to do that? Well, Melissa, what we do is, we put, have these two tables, and we have them very close together. And at that point, we just have them walking across. We gradually move the tables further and further apart, so he has to take a step and a ver very little jump. And each time he does it properly, we take a little piece of meat, just like this, and we say, good boy, good boy, Sayip. And very shortly, he figures out exactly what we want him to do. And that's how you get a tiger to jump. It's really, really easy. Oh, you good boy. As a matter of fact, one more time. Ready? Let's go. Come on, Sayip. Oh, good boy. That was great. Good boy. <laughs> good boy. Also in training a trick, or behavior as it's more properly known, you can use it, as I'll show you. This is now known as a sit-up. Okay, Sayip, you see the piece of meat on the end of the stick? Good boy. Up, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right. Good boy. That was great. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Good, Tiger. Good boy. He did that pretty well, didn't he? He sure did. If you want to give me a hand on this next behavior, I'd really appreciate it. It'd be a lot of help for me. Could you? Okay. Steve, could you hand her the end of the balloon? Okay, Melissa. Walk off with the end, drop the balloon, and here comes him. There, he got it. Thanks a lot, Melissa. That was a Welcome. big hand. That was great. Good boy. Good boy. Can he I did... try to pet him? Sure. Come on in. Just come on in and pet him. That's it. Tell him he was a good boy. That was a good boy. That's it. Pet him. Come on. You're a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. Get up on the seat. Get up on the seat. Good boy. Good boy. He's really friendly. Did you hand raise him? Yes, we did. We got him when he was a year, uh, beg your pardon, one day old. And right now he's 14 months. And when, he, when we first got him, we had to feed him every three hours. So that means at 12 o'clock at midnight, 3 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, and you always had to have a bottle for him. And when he first was born, he was only around this big. Only that big? Only that big. And he was eating around 1 to 2 ounces of milk a day. Right now, he's this big, and he weighs 300 pounds, and he's around half grown. He's going to be this big. <laughs> Melissa, I'm afraid it's getting awful hot out of here now. And he's, he's, he's getting time and tired. Want to join us if you walk back down to the cage? Okay. Good. Come on, Sayip, let's go home. Come on, Sayip, let's go home. Good boy. And now, one of my favorite parts of the show, with a song for all her fans, Nancy Ryan. Thank you, Kenny. You know, all animals, including us humans, are really suspicious and frightened over seeing another animal that we don't know anything about or we haven't seen before. And this is a song about a tarantula. And he's kind of put out about the, the treatment he gets from humans. So he wants to tell you a t thing or two. Come sit down beside me, I'd like to complain. Please don't be frightened, I'll try to explain. People don't like me, why I can't say Friendships are few and most run away With eight lovely legs and eight eyes as well I seldom buy 
like people I don't even smell I live on the ground out of harm's way making a tunnel from which I don't stray I don't run around except to catch bugs I never get kisses and I seldom get hugs my body is large with shiny black hair why call me ugly? It doesn't seem fair. I don't run around except to catch bugs. I never get kisses and I seldom get hugs. You see, I'm quite nice and not really strange. And now that you know me, I think things will change. Three hundred eggs laid in the fall. Covered in webs and rolled in a ball I carry the load on most sunny days Up to my entrance to warm in the rays Soon they will hatch and then they'll leave home Scattering quickly to life on their own Yucky flies. I know we'll be friends if everyone tries. I don't run around except to catch bugs. I never get kisses and I seldom get hugs. You see, I'm quite nice and not really strange. And now that you know me, I hope things will change. You see, I'm quite nice. And now Melissa is here with special guest Attila from the Niagara Serpentarium in Niagara Falls. And today he's brought us a tarantula. Hi Attila. Hi Melissa. What kind of spider is this? This is a Mexican red-legged tarantula. It's really pretty. Oh. <laughs> Are they always orange and black? Yes. <laughs> this type is, yes. Does anyone have any questions? Hey. <laughs> Where are his eyes? Your eyes are right on top on the top front. Is it poisonous right now? <laughs> um well most spiders have poison, but they're not very poisonous. But the only spider which is like effective on a human is the black widow, which is in North America. When does it bite? If you make it or you corner it or If you make it, it mad, I guess, right? Yes. Well, sorry, but that was the last question. Thanks a lot for being here today, Attila. That's the end of another show, but we want to see you all again when the Kangazoo Club returns. Rhinoceros, hippopotamus, lizards, eagles, and whales, skins rough and tough. Or like a powder in Cambridge, the crew of the Kangazoo Club was accommodated at the Desert Inn with a full range of rooms to suit everyone's needs. The Desert Inn is conveniently located just 10 minutes from the African Lion Safari. Transportation by Davies Trailer and Recreational Center. Sales and service for travel trailers, motor homes, fifth wheels, hardtop campers, and park models. On the Queen Elizabeth Way in Burlington. We'll show you all the details. We'll investigate bugs or maybe tigers or slugs. Next time on the Kangazoo Club, rhinoceros, hippopotamus, lizards, eagles, and whales, skins rough and tough, or like a powder puff. We'll show you all the details. We'll investigate bugs or maybe tigers and slugs. Next time on the Kangazoo Club, rhinoceros, hippopotamus, lizards,